I don't even know where to start. I think we've got a cup of tea because this is going to be long. I can't actually believe how much stuff I've bought in like three months. Hi Homes! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I am Carrie and today I am going to do a lockdown haul. So everything that I've bought whilst in quarantine. Quarantine has been really bad for my bank account. <laughs> oh! Who knew that one person could do so much online shopping? I, I've got no words. Right, let's go in categories. So let's start with lounge fly bags because there's only four of them. Only. So the first one is this one. How amazing is that? Now my lovely friend Han, um, from Instagram, Disney Han X, um, she went to Florida in February and kindly picked this up for me because I said that I really wanted one. So thank you Han. But look, I love how it's got all like the icons, I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Yeah. Love that it's got tower. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's got Tower of Terror and it's got Mickey Minnie, Pluto, Goofy, Epcot, the castle. I mean, it's got like, it's got everything on it, hasn't it? I love the colour of it as well. Like, it, I just think it goes with everything. Let's look at the back. Do, 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 do. How cute is that? Oh, it's got the tree of life on the side as well. My fave. <laughs> I just love that. Next one. This one, I mean, Minnie's my favourite Fab Five, Animal Kingdom's my favourite park. Like, could this bag be any more perfect? When I got this in the post, I was just, like, I had no words. I opened the box and I just, oh, so, I just love it. Imagine walking around Animal Kingdom with this. I just, I need a trip. Just so I can wear this. Oh, so nice. Hug me there. This was from Double Box Toys. Um, if you don't know like who they are, they are an English retailer and they're getting like loads of lounge flies and Funko Pops if you get them. They get them in from America and um, you don't have to pay like the customs and that, you just pay their fees. So pretty. So this one is also from Double Box Toys, but I got this one a slightly different way. So every couple of months, actually every couple of weeks at the minute, but um, they do these mystery boxes. So they put in... They put a list of the bags that are in it and you pay a certain amount. So say sometimes they're 49.50, sometimes it's 67.50, sometimes it's a bit more. Why am I so out of breath? Yeah, so this particular mystery box was 49.50. Um, and you didn't know which bag you were going to get. And I think I was so lucky <laughs> to get this bag because some bags on there I would not have enjoyed. Like some weren't even Disney. So... The fact that I got this one, I think there was only 10 of these ones, so I was very lucky to get this one. And it's my favourite colours, pink and purple. It's got all the park icons on, Can you see. It's got the castle, mini ears, a lounge fly bag, magic band, balloon, sauce from Mickey Hart. I just, I just think it's so nice. This is like my new everyday bag. I just think it's so pretty. Love it. Okay, last of the lounge fly bags. Now this one was my ultimate lounge fly bag grail. Like, I needed this in my life from February. Kept missing out on it and double box toys when it kept coming up. And I finally bit the bullet and got it on eBay from America. Probably shouldn't have paid what I paid for it, but it's so worth it. <laughs> How cute is that? Sorcerer Mickey is my, probably, I think it's my favourite. Sorcerer Mickey. <laughs> Sorcerer Mickey is my favourite version of Mickey. I just think he's so cute. I love they match my ears as well. I just had no words when I opened it. Obsessed. Like, look how cute he is. Look at them next to each other. How cute is that? Can I cope? Not really. I just remembered there's one more bag. <laughs> oh god help me this is the last lounge fly bag that i got and i just think it's so pretty this one was from emp yeah emp and it had um, a sale on so i was like i need to just buy it it's got 25 percent off how can i say no 
and I've actually got some matching ears coming from my lovely friend Jode at Warm Hugs and Ears Co. I'll tag it below. <sighs> oh my god, all I've done is walk from here to the other side of the room to the wardrobe and I'm out of breath. I think I'm just really excited. I just think it's so pretty. I love the colours, I love the little detail there. Oh, and the lining as well. Let's show you this lining. Can you see? Oh, so pretty. Right, I think that is actually it for the lounge fly bags. Now, right, what should we go to next? Ears. Ears. So, first ones are these beautiful ones. Now, these, as you can see, are the Epcot ears. They've got the bubblegum wall, my favourite wall. Um, these were from eBay. Um, they're only 9 99 from China. I mean, some people think that they're fake, but they don't look fake to me. I think they're just made in a Chinese factory, which they all are. I think they might just have, like, a defect, but I can't see any defects. But, yeah, I think they're so nice. Mm -hmm. I hate how that sticks out. Try and cover it. So yeah, this is what they look like on. I love them, I just think for 9 99 as well, I just think, how nice. The next set of ears are these beautiful ears. These are from Magic Dreams Wishes on Instagram. Now I've been waiting since April, I think when she closed, for her to reopen, because I've been eyeing up these for ages. I just think they're so cute. Pink, my favourite castle. Aurora's castle is my favourite. Let's see what these look like on. <laughs> so cute. I love the colour. And like the little pearl design around the edges. So nice. And they're really affordable as well. I think they were £17 or £18. Which is so good for mini ears. Next up, we've got these. I've worn these in another video before. But how nice are they? Just sang that to the tune of the wedding march. <laughs> these are from Bespoke Stitches Co on Instagram. She also got Etsy. I love these because, I mean, look how sparkly the bow is. Just, I love sparkles. And also the Animal Kingdom. So, my fave. Now, when I talk about affordable ears, these are affordable ears. Sarah, the girl whose business it is, she has three tiers. So she's got, um, value moderate and deluxe these are value believe it or not like but you couldn't tell that the value because they just look they're just so good one minute ignore the hair <laughs> like look how sparkly that is and the headband as well so nice these are 9.99 i know what 9.99 i mean how How can you uh, just nine ninety nine? Amazing. Got another pair from Bespoke, Sp Bis bleh, bleh, bleh. Bespoke Stitches Co. And I actually won these in a giveaway. So these are her Daisy Deluxe ears because they've got a bit of extra detail on. But look how sparkly and the pink and purple, my fave. And on the back as well, so pretty. Now these ones are $13.99. I mean, that's still an amazing price. $13.99 and look how nice they are. So good. I'm in love. I think I've got a new obsession with ears. Before lockdown, I think I had five or six pairs of ears. Now it's more like 25 pairs of ears. I blame my friends. They're enablers. Do -do -do -do. How cute are these? Now, these are from Aurora's Aurora's Ears and Boutique. Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Aurora's Ears and Boutique. It's Aurora something. I'll put the link at the bottom. But I messaged Fiona, who owns Aurora's Ears and Boutique, and asked her if she could make me some custom Safari Mini Ears to go with the Safari Lounge Fly Bag. And this is what she came up with. And they are amazing. I love them. Like, could they be any better? 
let's have a close up. There's Mickey. Do, 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 do. There's Minnie. Look at the colour of the bow. So pretty. Again, I can't cope. I can't wait to wear these in Animal Kingdom. Or even just to the zoo. I need a trip to the zoo. Now, these ones are very special to me because my favourite silly old bear, Winnie the Pooh, I've had this little teddy since I was four years old and I thought, I need some ears to match. How beautiful are they? Look at his little face. Oh, a little honey pot in the middle. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Now these are from Magic Alice Ears, again on Instagram and Etsy, and look at those. <sighs> when I say that I had no words, I had no words. Like, oh, that bow is so puffy, and these are so puffy as well. Obsessed. Just, I can't deal. I could, I opened the box and I just couldn't deal. I will link Zoe's shop as well. Every small shop that um, I talk about will be linked below. Just one last time. Hello, I'm Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> oh my God, I need help. Okay, right, that's ears done. Oh, let's do headbands. I've actually only got two headbands. I'm surprised at that. So the first one I got is this one from Jodie at Warm Hugs and Ears Co. I love the colour of this and it's velvet. And I love like the size of the knot as well. And it's a really sturdy um, headband. This is my go-to, I wear this every day. It's so pretty. Let me put it on. How cute. I actually had this on in my last video. So you've seen it if you watched my last video. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. So cute. I've actually got some more knot bands coming from Jodie on the way, but I'll have to do those in a separate video. Someone needs to take my card away from me. Look at the state of my hair. <laughs> I can't believe I'm putting this on the internet. The next headband is this one. This is from Bow and Soul. How pretty. I love the tie-dye colour. I love this. It does make me feel like I'm like part of Tudor times. Didn't they used to wear things like this on the head? Can't remember. But yeah, love it. I think it's so nice. And I like how it's like chunky, like chunkier than the other ones. Love it. Okay, powering through, powering through. Right, next we're gonna do Disney clothes. I think most of the stuff is from Primark. And maybe one thing is from Zara, I think. Right, so let's start with Disney pyjamas. So the first set I got were these. How cute is that? What does it say? Hello, good morning, anyone there? Disney Winnie the Pooh. I love that. It's so cute. Now I'm usually like a 10 to 12 or 12 to 14 or small to medium but I got this in a extra large because <laughs> I wanted it to be like like a nighty. Also got the leggings to match. Look a little wide on this screen. <laughs> Maybe I've just got a wide bum. I have got a wide bum. These are the matching leggings. They've got the uh, elastic on the bottom. A little bow. She's cute. I also really love the Disney tags that you get on Primark stuff. I think they're cute. Anyway, um, these are a size medium, 12 to 14. Um, yeah, I love the detail on these. So it's got like Winnie the Pooh and Eon, some balloons. So yeah, they're really cute. Love them. Continuing with my Winnie the Pooh theme. I also got like a lounge set of pajamas. How cute! I've actually got. How many sets of these have we got now? 
I think this is my third like set of these from Primark. Yeah, I've also got Marie ones and uh, Mickey Mouse ones. And now I've got Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. I know you can't feel it on the camera, but it's so soft. It's so nice. Um, so yeah, this was... I didn't tell you how much the other thing was on the other. I've not told you the price for a lot of stuff, have I? If you want to know the price for anything and I've not said it, just ask me in the comments and I'll be more than happy to let you know. <laughs> I'm very forgetful. Let's start now. So this was £10. I love it. I got this in a size large 14 to 16. Again, it's nice and baggy. You just want to be comfy when you're asleep, don't you? When you're wearing lounge stuff. Don't want anything tight. And again, these are the matching leggings. So soft. I love that they've got pockets as well. Like, how can you not love anything with pockets? Love how they're stripey. I've got Winnie the Pooh on it again. Like, my love for Winnie the Pooh has no limits <laughs> i just i just think he's so cute and um, these are a size medium to 14 and they were 10 pound as well so yeah <laughs> got a big bum okay the last set of pajamas that i bought were these now as you've probably seen from my other videos i am moving to australia in seven weeks <gasps> So obviously it gets quite hot over there so even though i'm not a massive fan of wearing um like shorts and a vest top in bed i thought it's best to have some and these were really cute i love the print i love that it's got all the fab five on i think it might have the fab six. Oh no it's not ignore me oh no it is is it oh no there's no pluto oh there's minnie mickey donald daisy and goofy why is there no pluto it makes me sad. But yeah, I love the print. I'm just can you see? Yeah. I'm never gonna be a professional YouTuber. <laughs> These were in a size medium, to 14 as well. And they were seven pound. Bargain! Okay, so that's all the peed out. <laughs> so that's all the PJs. So let's go for t-shirts. So first t-shirt is surprise, surprise. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> now when I saw this and the fact that it was five pounds, I thought I need to have that. Look how cute it is. It's basically Winnie the Pooh, just in different poses so cute i got a medium but it is quite a bit less attractive like it does wrap around so this is like a size up to my usual size because i wanted it like extra big so i suppose it just depends how you want it to fit but yeah it's always better to get it bigger than smaller isn't it the next one from primark is this one i love this one just peeping again <laughs> um, let's try and cover myself up there we go I actually didn't see this at first it was Nick who pointed it out and he said oh I like that because it looks like retro sort of vintagey kind of print I was like oh actually love that um, again got this in a size medium um, this is quite baggy as well but like I said I like things baggy so I know you can't see, but <laughs> the chins. But it does again, like, it is quite wide. But that's what I like. I don't know how much this was. I've taken the price off. Uh, I feel like it was £8 or £7. It was less than a tenner anyway. So, yeah, love that. The last Primark t shirt is this one. Oh my god, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> I love this one. Like it's like slightly vintage Mickey, all the comic book stuff. Got Pluto. Now that's what I call a real welcome. 
mini and umbrella. I just think that's so cute. Oh, no, I love how that is so big on the back as well. I just think it's so nice. Again, I got it in a medium. Uh, this one was seven pounds. I'm going to guess that the other one was seven pounds as well. But yeah, seven pound. Love it. I love how the uh, sleeves are folded over as well. Because what could have got very short arms, being five foot one, um, and I tend to uh, roll the sleeves up anyway. So it's good that it's already done. Love it. I think I need some new words. Next one that I got was this one. I've actually worn this in a vlog before. This one is from H&M. I love that it's like old style Mickey and Minnie and the fact that it's purple. Purple is one of my favourite colours. Um, how much was this? I think this was 9 99 from H&M. Love it. I'm trying to like race through so this video isn't like an hour long. Uh, next one is from a small shop on Instagram called... Is it The Dreamers? Inc? Disney Dreamers Inc? Dreamers Club? It's Dreamers something. I'll link it below. Yeah, this is just a plain white t-shirt and it says Jumbo. This is perfect for Animal Kingdom. And with Animal Kingdom being my favourite park. Any opportunity to buy Animal Kingdom merch, I'll buy it. I love like the detail, little different animal prints, so cute. And the quality of the t-shirt is really good as well. And like the quality of the print as well, it's not like, it's not vinyl or anything, it's like embedded in the material, so I don't feel like it's going to wash off. Um, I got this in a size medium, uh, it's quite long. Ooh. It's quite long. It's good for <laughs> it's good. God, my arm's massive. Um, but yeah, it's good for tucking in. Oh, my nose. I've never had hair fever before, but this year, that and I've got coronavirus. I've not got coronavirus. <laughs> I don't think so anyway. Asymptomatic. Another t-shirt, standard. It's from Shop Disney. I've been eyeing up this top for ages. Um, and then when it came out with, I might as well show you the key at the same time. Um, when I saw that this key was coming out. Is that focusing? Excuse the nose. Um, but yeah, when I saw this ink and paint key was coming out, I knew I needed to have it. And I thought, what can I buy? What can I buy? Because you've got to spend £20. So I thought, I'm getting this top. I did originally want the white version of this, but then I looked in my drawer and I've got about 55 white tops. So I thought I better go for a different colour. But actually I really like this colour. Got this in a size small. Um, this is a little bit tighter than the other t-shirt, so it's not as oversized, but I didn't want it really oversized. So uh, yeah, love that. I love that it's got um, the quote on it. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing, that it was all started by a mouse. Walt Disney. I love that quote. Might as well show me the key while we're doing keys. Um, I got this one like earlier on in lockdown. I think maybe mm, was it March or April. Was this even in lockdown? I don't know. Lockdown's been so long. Uh, but this is the Cinderella 70th anniversary key and I just think it's so pretty. Let's see if I can measure it. Does that do anything? I don't know. I literally don't know idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> That's not doing anything is it? Back to the t-shirts. The last two t-shirts that I got are from Zara. The first one is this cute little Donald tee. Do, 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 do. I love that the, um, what's it called? His hat. <laughs> His hat is all sequin. Um, now I got this in a size small because my other Zara t-shirts that I've got that are Disney, I've always got in a small and they've been like quite big still. But this is actually quite short. Um, like if I'd have known, I'd have probably got a medium. But it's all right for like tucking in stuff or... Yeah, well, I mean, I'm five foot one and it still just like covers my hips. But yeah, I love it. It's still cute. Now, I actually went to buy this from Zara for 9 99 but they cancelled my order. I was fuming. But then Nick 
managed to find um, somebody selling a brand new one on eBay. So I was so glad they managed to find it. And the last t-shirt is this one. <laughs> now, if anyone is subscribed or watches Tori Jane Ivy on YouTube, she's one of my best friends. And I saw that she bought this on her H&M slash Zara haul. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need that. It's purple. It's Dumbo. It's got Timothy on the back. Just, I just needed it. Now this was $15.99. And I got this in a size small. As you can see, it is pretty oversized. So if you wanted it smaller, I'd say go down a size to what your what you usual is. Or maybe even two, depending on how like tight you want it. But if you want it baggy, I'd just stick to your normal size. Um, yeah, the quality is like it's a really like like a thick cotton. I think it's cotton. Let me just make sure. Yeah, at least fifty. If this is at least fifty percent of ecologically grown cotton, well, that's good. Um, so yeah, I like the print as well. It's like slightly raised. So it's just it's just a really nice quality t-shirt. I love it. Oh, speaking of Dumbo, I got something else that's lounge fly. Standard. Um, so this is not another bag, but it is a purse slash wallet, depending on where you're watching from. How cute is that? Like the Dumbo design is like stitched over the top of the blue. And then on the back, it's got Timothy again. And I love the, uh, what's it called, like a plaque. Mm, I love when they're the metal plaques. Um, I have a big purse that I carry around everywhere. But recently I've started just taking like, my card out. So I thought I need a smaller purse that just fits cards in. I thought this was like the perfect size. I could put, put like, your driving license in there and you've got room for... Just counting. Uh, four cards and then uh, show you that one. And then room here for some money as well. I love it. I think it's perfect size. Um, I actually got this from somebody on a lounge fly group on Facebook. So I paid thirty six pound for this. But I'm not sure how much they retail for. Like new. This is new, but um, like new on a website. So I'm glad I managed to get one of these. So cute. Let's go for Shop Disney. Well, actually, I've already shown you the things that I got from Shop Disney, but the other thing that I got is this. How cute is that? It's a Winnie the Pooh journal, but like the quality of it, it's like a book. There's Winnie the Pooh. All a flutter with wonder. I just think that's so cute. I love the colour, the yellow and the white. Look at the back as well. So cute. And then inside got pictures of 100 acre wood and then it's just like lined paper <laughs> oh dear i could never be a presenter um it's just got like lined paper if you can see that this quality is great on one side it's got tigger and on the other side is eeyore piglet and Pooh. and the back is just the same as the uh front sleeve and this was £9, so I think that's really cute. Next thing I got, this was from Primark. Standard. How cute. I like to just keep all my stuff in my bag in like one little thing, so I don't lose it all. So this has got like lip balm, lipstick, some spare bubbles, plasters, um, migraine tablets, the joys. Just like little essentials, so I can just move that from bag to bag. I did have one that said bride to be, but not bride to be anymore. And it was very tight. So when I saw this the other day, I thought I need to have it. And I think it was four pound. Yeah, four pound. It just says dream big in the corner. It's got Bambi and Thumper. And then the little zipper is Bambi as well, which I think was so cute. Oh my God, this video is already 42 minutes. Right, got 
a couple of things from some small shops. So my friend Hannah on Instagram, Hannah Ever After, has got a bracelet shop. She uses um, different coloured beads to make her bracelets. She's called To Infinity and Beads On. To Infinity and Beads On! Yeah. So uh, I've got a few of her bracelets now. I've got this one, which is like multicolours. Um, it just says carry on it. Just gonna want to get them all to stay. It says carry on it. <laughs> um, the next one is like pink and white, and it says Disney. Is that the right way? I can't get them to go straight. <laughs> I'm so good at this. Yeah, that one says Disney. Uh, the next one, it's different colours of blue. And my dog is called Freddy, so I had to get a little Freddy bracelet because I'm sad like that. <laughs> I can't do it. I give up. <laughs> and the last one is uh, blue and gold. Can you guess which princess that's for? It's for Jasmine, my favourite. And then that one just says princess. I didn't want to get an obvious one. Because I thought if I get one say if I get one that says Jasmine, people are gonna think I'm called Jasmine. I mean, it's not really a bad thing, but yeah, so I've got one saying princess. And these are like I think they're £2.50 each. Or you can get like she does bundles, £2.50 each. Or like four for I can't remember. The bundles are on her Instagram page, but they're all they're so like cheap but they're not cheaply made like they're really good quality and they're just easy to wear like every day i just think they're so cute when i can get the let's just stay the right way <laughs> i shouldn't do youtube the next thing from a small shop on instagram is wild card designs i love these prints as you can guess from the name wild card designs all the prints are like playing cards so the first one is Minnie Mouse. How cute is that? And you can't have Minnie Mouse without Mickey Mouse. I love that. And then I had to get my two favorite princesses, Jasmine and Belle. Now these are all hand drawn by Danny who owns um, wildcard designs and I just think they're such good quality and I just think they're so nice they make really good presents as well now these are the A5 size she does up to A1 I think um, she also does custom prints which I think is really cool and these are £5 each and free UK delivery which I think is really good yeah, that's my little collection <laughs> can't wait to put them in frames and put them up in my new house um, next up is from my lovely friend sam she has a small shop called magical inspired designs it is currently closed at the minute um but she will be opening again soon so make sure you follow her on instagram to like see when she's going to be opening up um but i won her giveaway and it was for one of these personalized earbags and I just think this is such a good idea. Right, and this um, bag is such good quality. Like it's really thick. It's got a nice drawstring. And it's like, what's the word? Not tough, but like, it's not flimsy. Like you saw when I had to pull it then, like, it's got some resistance. Is that the word? Now you can have these in any colour you want. So I went for purple because I love purple and like I don't know if the camera's picking it up but it's so glittery but it's not like that glitter that comes off no, it's not going to come off I just think it's so good and so personal as well I just think it's really nice precious cargo so this is perfect for carrying your ears in your suitcase my arms look like swans <laughs> but yeah love that and now with the many ears that I own <laughs> this is definitely getting used Okay, I think I'm on to non-Disney things now. <sighs> yes, I'm still going. I told you it was going to be long. Right, I'll do shoes because I think I've only bought one pair of shoes. So, 
I fancied a pair of really comfy trainers. So I don't really own many trainers. But I'll go for the basic option of Nike Air Force Ones. Now actually, I was looking through Marketplace and I saw that someone was selling a brand new pair of Air Force Ones. Uh, never been worn and they were my size. So I thought, hmm, well, let's go and have a look. So I went and had a look. These are the shoes. I have worn them, they look a bit dirty now. But these are like the comfiest shoes probably I've ever had. They are so comfy. These are a size four, which is my size. <laughs> um, I think these are the kids ones. So I think new they're like 55 pound from JD, but I got these for 40, um, which I thought was a well good deal. And I got them off another carry. You don't find many carries around. So, the first of the non-Disney items is this dress. Um, it's very creased. <laughs> um, but this is from Primark. And it's got short sleeves. And it's green and spotty. And it's quite long. It goes to like just like mid-calf length, I'd say. But it's like really floaty, it's really thin material. Um, I actually have this in the same style, but it's um, like cream with pink flowers on. So I've worn that one and it's really nice. I just wear it with like the Air Force ones. Um, so when I saw this one, I thought I have to get one a different, a different pattern. Um, I got this in a size 12. It is quite roomy, but there is no stretch to it at all. I went up a size just because I wanted it a bit baggier. Um, and this was £13, which I thought was really good. My mum actually has the same dress as well. So hopefully we don't wear it at the same time. Right, next up, let's go for Boohoo. So, you may have seen, or I may have said, I have a rather large bottom. <laughs> Compared to the rest of me. A thunder thighs, big bum. So, I get chub rub. I'm not afraid to say it, but it does kind of hurt when it's hot. So I decided to invest in some cycling shorts. Now these are from, did I just say they were from Boohoo? I can't actually remember how much these were. They were pretty cheap. I think the black ones might have been £3 and the green ones might be £5, I think. But I just thought, especially being in Australia when it's going to be really hot, I don't want to be uncomfortable if I'm going for like a long walk or something don't just want to put denim shorts on and get the chub rub so I thought if I get some cycling shorts I'm not gonna rub don't know if this is too much information so yeah I got both of these in a size 12 um and yeah they just come above your knee like any standard kind of cycling shorts I also thought I would get an oversized t-shirt now I thought I'd get a man's and I wanted um, like a neutral colour, so I went for like black and grey because I wanted them to go with the green cycling shorts. Um, so I got this top from Boohoo Man. I can't remember what it was, I think it was like £7. And that. <laughs> and I thought, right, I'll get a small and it'll be fine. Like it says oversized, but a small will be all right. When I say oversized, it's like a tent. <laughs> but, but it's what I wanted. It is quite long. But it's what I wanted. It is massively oversized, <laughs> but again, it's what I wanted. So if you were thinking of doing the same and you're a similar size to me, the small will be fine. Don't go any bigger unless you actually want to wear a tent, but whatever tickles your fancy. I did say fancy then, by the way, nothing else. I got this dress. Um, so it's just standard little straps, um, elasticated waist, goes out quite big and then just float it down. It's quite short, probably goes, probably goes to the knee, um, but it's nice and thin, like it's thin material, but not bad thin, just like, what's the word, like airy, airy material. Um, it's a nice print, I think it was £9 maybe or £7. Again, I got it in a size 12 because I like it to be roomy. Um, 
but yeah this will be nice in Australia as well and it's nice and warm this is quite baggy as well around the top um but I wanted it loose so I didn't want it tight so I think the 12 was the right way to go is anybody still watching at this point not finished yet I've got two more dresses from Boohoo yeah, these are both smart dresses so they're the same style but just different colour so the first one is um, this mustard colour and it's like ribbed um, just your standard smock dress really I think this one was 13 they don't have the prices on but yeah I think this one was 13 pound um, just standard length I think this might be a petite in the petite range oh here it is yeah this is in the petite range but I am 5 foot 1 so that's fine for me <laughs> um, yeah I love the frills again the materials um, like a nice stretchy kind of material so yeah uh, got that in a size 12 as well and the last one is this smock dress I love the print is that that's a front I mean not that it's any different but <laughs> um, I also got this one in a size 12 uh, they are stretchy they are quite roomy but again with a smock dress I like to wear these when I'm going for a meal and I know that I'm gonna get a huge food baby so the bigger the better really <laughs> to cover the potch um, but yeah, I love like little frill details on the sleeves. I think this one was a bit cheaper than the mustard one. I think this one might have been £11. But um, yeah, I love the daisy pattern on it as well. That's cute. I thought this one would be good to wear either in the summer or the winter like with tights and boots. So that's why I went for this colour. So yeah, love that one. I think that's it for Boohoo. We're nearly done. Last few bits. So this top is from Stradivarius in the Trafford Centre. Um, I like these, like, is it called peplum? Is that what it's called? Like with the floaty bit at the bottom, because it's just um, just high the thunder thighs. Um, yeah, and I really like the colour. And it said it was nine ninety nine, and then I went to the till, and it was five pounds. I mean that is a bargain it's like really nice finished material so it's not too thick and I got this in a size small and again it is quite um <laughs> I can't do that kind of so yeah this is like it's not oversized but it's slightly um slightly a little bit baggy so yeah I think I with this one I think I'd just go for your regular size I can't believe it was five pound. Like I was absolutely buzzing. I mean, it was cheap anyway, nine ninety nine. But five pound. How can you say no? And the last two things are from H and M. So the first one is this skirt. Now I am currently loving, like, um, what's the word? mid calf length skirts because it means that you only have to shave like the bottom of your legs yeah i saw this and it was in the sale it should have been 24.99 and i got it for 12. so bargain and they only had one left and it was a size medium i think i would normally get a small with something that's like elasticated waist but um it's not massively big uh and actually it's got quite a lot of room for if you were going to go out and eat and eat too much like i usually do like a creamy color i've got two layers just thought that was really good for the price as well love it and last but not least i got this jumper i know it's the summer but i love a jumper and this should have been 17.99 and it was 10 pound um got this in a size medium and it's uh like a polar neck but it's not a full polar neck so because sometimes when I wear one, it like itches my chin. Um, so this like this like sits like here. It like sits in a good place. Um, it's got like nice dropped shoulders, baggy sleeves. Like it said, and thick jumper, but it's not too thick. So it's like an autumn kind of jumper. Um, and it's just got elasticated bottom. I just thought it was really nice. It's really nice and soft as well. If you stuck around for that long, you deserve a medal because that was long i'm actually sweating and i think i've realized that somebody needs to take my bank card away and i need to start spending but in my defense 
when we find out we're going to Australia, I thought there's not going to be a Primark, so I need to like stock up. So I kind of went a bit overboard and bought more than I usually would. But YOLO, don't regret it. And yeah, so I hope you liked this little video. I say little, this massive video. <laughs> if you did, please hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up and um, leave some comments. I'd love to know what you thought about this video. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you all on my channel soon.